Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dima. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'm so, so happy to have you here. So guys, today we're going to be talking about something very, very interesting, which is surviving as a student and getting a student job. And believe me, you, this is something that is very important and very serious because literally when you come to Romania, you want to survive. You want to get a job. So if you're a student, an intended student, this topic would really benefit you. So just keep watching. And if you have not subscribed, please do so now and like this video because I know it's going to be helpful to you. Surviving as a student. We all know that surviving as a student can be very, very difficult. But with the right strategies, you can do it. And the first thing I'm going to be talking today is managing your finances. Managing your finances is very, very, very important because if you're able to do that, you are going to be able to live below your income. So the first thing is you have to make a budget. What are these budgets going to include? Your bus ticket, your phone ticket, your phone, your phone bill, rather the bus ticket, your gym your gym, let's say for a guy and your gym, your gym fee or whatever it is. And most gyms have student discounts. So what you're going to be doing is trying to target those gyms that give student discounts. In that way, you're able to save more money. In managing your finances, you also have to prioritize cooking at home to eating outside. So most grocery stores or markets they have discount. So one of the things you can do is that you target when there's discount. So let's say, for instance, there's discount on rice. You can buy more when there's discount. In that way, you save yourself money. You know, so trying to know the cheapest. And what, another thing that you can do is comparing the prices. So if I'm able to compare the prices in different stores, I know these ones are cheaper, so I can always shop in this store. Try to minimize, reduce how much you eat out. Because eating out, you're going to be spending so much money. But if you're eating in, you are going to be saving so much money. Don't forget, you're also going to buy books, study materials, and a whole lot of things that you need to buy. So these things you can really... If you're able to not eat out, you can save money. Eating at home, it's more healthier. In that way, you can live a very healthy life, which would help you in your studies. Because when you are healthy, your brain functions better. So I would advise eat at home and eat good. A lot of vegetables and fruits as much as you can. So cook at home if you don't know how to cook. There are a lot of recipes online that you can actually learn. And I promise you, most students learn how to even cook when they're in the university. So why not? Buy those things, look up a video on YouTube and cook. That's a way of saving your money and surviving as a student. The second one is balance social life and school life. I know how important it is for you to stay on top when it comes to your studies. But let me tell you something, it's also important for you to balance it. So you can join some organizations, join them if you love to play basketball, football, whatever games that, that it is. You can join your school club in order to help you to do that. And you can also join the church. You know, that's also a very good way for you to socialize and connect with people and make friends. Try to go out. Yes, I said don't eat out, but it's also important to have some times where you just truly just go out have time with friends eat and relax that would help you be more focused and have more clarity to what you're doing in your school because a lot of a lot of students they are so burnt out because every time they are with their books they're trying to work and these things are good but having a good balance would help you survive and this takes me to the third point Number one is take your health seriously as a student, I know how difficult it can be sometimes, but you just want to be serious with your life. And I know how it can be because of that. You skip meals, you don't eat at all, and the rest of them. But I'm here to tell you that your health is very safe, is very, very important. If you don't have a good medical, physical, and mental health, if you're not in a good place in this industry, physically, mentally, 
like I don't know how you're gonna survive. I don't know how you're gonna do well with your schoolwork. So it's important that you take your health very seriously. Exercise as much as you can. If you don't have money for gym, you can take long walk. You can take a run. You can do a run. Whatever it is, just try to move your body. And don't forget to eat balanced diet. And one of the ways is balanced diet is by cooking at home and socialize. It can help you. And if you have any issues mentally, please reach out because I promise you, being a student and being without your parents in a city or in a country, it can be so draining sometimes. But picking up to your friends, picking up to your parents or your or your teachers. This can always go a long way to know what is wrong with you. Don't stay in isolation. Please try as much as possible to communicate with people. This would really, really help you. And don't forget, balance diet. Say no to energy drinks and all these things. I remember when I was in second year and third year, I had to take a lot of energy drinks because I felt so tired. I wasn't sleeping and I wanted to be awake. And I realized that this really affected me. So moving forward, I said to myself, I'm not going to take energy drink because like, what's the use if I'm trying to learn how to make people healthy and then I damage my own body. So prioritize yourself, have a good, good amount of sleep. I know that it's sometimes it's impossible. It would help you perform better academically and stay at the top of your game. So prioritize your health. Now, let's move over to getting a student job in Romania. Working part-time can help you a lot with easing the financial stress and also help you gain the experience. In Romania, students are allowed to work four hours. So, you see? So, that's good because in that way, you are able to still work and also study at the same time. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to be able to to get a job it's a romania it's a, it's romania and they don't speak english in, not like they do speak english but english is not their first language but sometimes it can be very difficult to get a job but it's possible it is doable i have a few friends that are working and though i haven't really worked before in romania i've gotten a job which i'm gonna be starting soon that is good because it's good to have the experience and this really helps to ease a lot of financial stress and now that it's the summer i'm really not doing anything so why not work the first tip i'm going to be giving you is that you should look on website job websites and i'm going to say find one on linkedin on ejob and best job these are very good places where you can find jobs. And since you're looking for a part-time job, you can filter it and be able to find a um and be able to find part-time job. And before that, you need to create a resume and a CV. So in your CV, you know what it contains and the rest of them. So create a very, very good CV. If you don't know how to create a CV, look online but i'm gonna try to see if i'm going to make a video on how to create a video it doesn't need to be something so big that has a lot of experience and don't lie about it if you have experience be honest with it most part-time jobs do not require that you have so much experience so just be honest don't lie about it because if you lie about it what if you get caught what if we get caught <laughs> you don't want to do that the next one is networking Try to network. If you're looking for a job, don't keep it yourself. Tell your friends, tell your colleagues. Some of them, they are working and they can refer you. So I have a friend that was working and she was able to give in some words for another friend that was looking for a job. But just imagine that that person is I'm looking for a job. How would she know? So try to tell your classmates, your friends, your colleagues, and tell them that you're looking for a job. They can help you and they can refer you. The next thing is learn the language. I know I said initially that it's hard, it's Romania, you know, yeah, as an English speaker, it's very hard. But seriously, if you want to work in Romania, you should consider at least learning the basics. Like, come, go, what's your name, where are you from, and those things, because I promise you, you're going to need them. And there are a lot of apps that you can use to learn these languages online. So guys, I believe that with these few tips, you should be able to land yourself a good job in Romania, and survive as a student. If you have any questions, please don't forget to let me know in the comment section. And if there's another video you want me to talk about, make this is my time to answer all your requests. So just let me know in the comment section and I will do that. Thank you guys for watching my videos and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with a friend.
Bye. See you some other time.